I'm a full-time creative and this is what I wish I knew before getting into all of this. My main sources of income are from being a photographer, from working as a camera assistant on film and TV sets. Then I also do some teaching both in-person workshops and I teach online courses on Skillshare as well. I write for f-stoppers and I make videos and TikToks and that kind of stuff. Those are kind of like the, the different slices of the pie that make up everything I do. Oh, and I do a bit of modeling as well. So between all of that, that is, that is what I mean when I say a full-time creative. Technically, you could call me just a full-time photographer, but there's a lot more that kind of goes into the whole scope of things. I want you to have the full realm of what I do and why. The first is, I don't know if this is actually at all part of the reason why, but I have ADHD and I like to keep things fresh. I like to keep things changing up a little bit. So I started as a photographer. I'll always say I'll live and breathe and die by being a photographer. Being a photographer helps me be a better model, be a better camera assistant. Being a camera assistant helps me be a better photographer. You're working on these Hollywood sets and you're analyzing the lighting and the camera and the direction and how the, the, you know, the director is working with actors, how the DOP is lighting a scene, how they're shooting it, what the, what the story is. You can really analyze that and bring it into your own work. And then uh, as a model, I understand both sides of the camera. So when I'm shooting with models, I understand them more and can get more of a result that I'm looking for. And then also I love teaching. I love giving back to the community that is given so much to me. So that's why I teach both online and in person because I can only teach so many people in person, but I can teach an unlimited amount of people online. So I want to do both in that way. And then writing for F-Stoppers, it, you know, it, I, I like writing. I've been a writer for a long time and it allows me to just nerd out about photo stuff. So if you want, you can check out some of my articles. I'll link those below as well as my Skillshare profile and all of that fun stuff. But this, this, this way of life isn't for everyone. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I get to wake up and do what I love every day. And not many people get to, to say that. And it's afforded me a really, really fantastic life. And I'm so, so grateful for all of it. But it's not, it's not a walk in the park. It's not easy. This has taken years to grow to get me to this point. And you know, there's, you know, we've gone through the actors strikes for my film work and we've gone through, well, 2020. And I've, you know, I've gotten smacked in the face a couple times now. But if you're resilient and you're, you know, if you're consistent and you show up and you treat it like a business and not just, you know, yes, Good art will always perform well, but if you treat yourself like a business, you will be able to weather the storms more. So if you're looking at being a full-time creative, that's what you wanna do. You have to look at it like it's any other type of business, but it's just you and the services that you provide, right? And where you wanna fit in that, what's your niche? What's, what gives you, what's your competitive advantage? What, what, perspective do you have that you can pull from, that you can leverage? It's one of the most rewarding feelings in the world to do what you love every day. And if, if you're thinking of doing this and you think it's right for you, it can absolutely be worth it. It's not without sacrifice though. You know, I can't, I'm not always able to go out with my friends as much because I'm busy working or you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you'll have a really weird schedule and you try to balance life and your work, you know, your relationships, your family, and sometimes things will suffer. But I, I've come to learn that you have to, you have to make time for what's important and really look at your priorities. And yes, you can go full gas on your business, on work, but then other parts of your life will suffer. So I think it's trying to find, I don't know if there is a balance to it, but sometimes there will be a season where I'm really pushing career-wise. And then for a couple months, okay, I really pushed. I, I wanna like just take a bit of a breather and really focus on family and my social life and my relationships and build those back up. And sometimes it's, you know, you're doing a bit of this and you're kind of juggling a lot. 
but it it can work if you're if you're careful with it and if you communicate with the people in your life and if they understand it because some people don't and that's 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 okay this, this life isn't for everyone right but i think the people that get it get it you'll have those nights where you're like i am i doing the right thing should i you know give it all up you'll have these moments of doubt and they happen every so often and i'm like you know you a minor thing can happen you'll be like oh my god my career is over i'm done there's not like but it's not usually that bad and you will recover and as long as you're consistent you can probably weather the storm i know a lot of people especially in the creative realm will knock a nine to five but some people want a nine to five some people want to get home and be done with work and to just unplug and do their own thing and that's so fine i have nothing against that I know I'm not that type of person. I know I'm not the, not, the, the type that's okay, nine to five in an office and then I go, go home and then I'm plugging. It's kind of the same thing every day. That's not, I can't, I can't do that. For me, I like how much things change. I like being able to, you know, sometimes I, I, I'll have a random afternoon free and I'll call up a friend or something and be like, what are you doing right now? And then sometimes I'm like, hey, I gotta like pencil you in for like three months down the road on this particular evening at this exact time. But you make it work. And I think that's what you have to do. You, you have to figure out how, what kind of cadence you want, what kind of balance you want, and you just gotta make it work, right? Be intentional with it. Set the kind of intention of the life that you want. And start working towards that. Because you can have all the intention behind it, but if you don't act on it, then you won't get anywhere. And it's fantastic. It's, it's a amazing way to make a living. And I think if you're thinking about it, it can, it can be so rewarding, but you have to be aware of if you think you're that type of person or not. For me, I know I am. And for me, I know this like entrepreneurial mindset is something that I have and something that I love, but not everybody does. And that's okay. And it's, I'm not knocking anybody that doesn't want to do it. Sometimes I envy the people that, you know, they can, they, they're not working all the time or they're able to unplug, or they have, you know, a set schedule. I, you know, oftentimes people will be like, oh, what time do you finish? And I'm like, whenever I'm done. So that's not always what everyone wants. And it can be a little trickier, you know, especially like I'm in my mid twenties right now. If you have a family and if you have kids and if you have people to provide for, it becomes a little trickier. And if you're farther down in your like journey of life, it can be trickier to jump right into being a full-time creative and I get that it's you know I've I've thankfully been able to take this leap at a young age where the risk is a lot less than somebody who has a, a full family to provide for right and I can get established in the meantime but that's that's kind of my thoughts on you know this whole creation whatever it means to be a creative, a photographer, a filmmaker, a model, a teacher, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's like multiple hyphens throughout this. <laughs> but with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about being a full-time photographer, getting into the film industry, being a model, et cetera, content creation, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to jump in and talk with y'all about how we can lift each other up together, right? But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, consider subscribing to, long, to join along this journey with me. Remember, as always, to work hard, rest often, and I'll see you on the next one.